Hello, friends, and welcome to the new episode of r slash I don't work here, lady. And in this episode, I suggest we start with the shortest and one of the weirdest stories I've ever seen in this sub. No, I'm not a mailman. Yes, I'm sure. This is the story that actually made me look up this subreddit. I was headed to the neurologist, and as I walked into the building to look for the suite I needed to go to, a lady who worked there asked me if I was the mailman. Keep in mind, I was not wearing anything remotely close to that of a mailman or a UPS driver. I was wearing blue jeans, a black windbreaker, black shoes, and a baseball cap. Once I said no, she responded with, Are you sure? In kind of a rude manner. You should have replied, Actually, I'm not sure at all. Now that you mention it, maybe I am the mailman. Then go silent as if having an inner debate about it. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss a new video every single day. And our second story. Aren't you going to do something about it? Last year, I visited Universal Studios in Florida for the first time. I was pretty damn excited about the Harry Potter section, and I was wearing a Harry Potter house robe and scarf because I'm a grown woman and can make those life decisions for myself. Now, if you've never been to Universal, all the employees in a particular section of the park wear themed costumes. For instance, the employees in the Jurassic Park section are wearing khakis and look like they're coming from the field. The Harry Potter World employees all look like wizards, but the important part is none of them are wearing any official merchandise. It's all plain, unbranded robes, wizard hats, etc. Moreover, I was definitely not the only weirdo wearing Harry Potter stuff. It was pretty easy, in my opinion, to pick out the fans versus the employees. Not everybody thought so. More backstory. Universal supplies free lockers outside every ride, so you can put your stuff in there for a certain amount of time while riding. When you first enter the Harry Potter section, you immediately come upon a set of lockers. It's easy to erroneously believe these lockers are for the entire HP section. They're not. They're only for one ride in the front. For the most popular ride, which is in a castle, the lockers are hidden inside the castle. So we realize our mistake, and having already put our stuff away, my husband heads back inside the lockers to get our items back out so we can put it in the correct castle lockers. The locker pavilion is absolutely bonkers, to the point where I wait outside mostly because I don't think another damn person will fit inside. Trust me when I say literally everyone was making the mistake of thinking these lockers were for the entire Harry Potter section. So there I am standing outside the locker pavilion wearing my Harry Potter robe and scarf and someone steps up and asks me a question. Now even though it's my first time at Universal, I actually know the answer and I'm happy to answer them, pointing them in the right direction. Someone else steps up and they don't look happy. Don't you realize, they snap, that everyone is trying to use these lockers for the castle ride? These are the wrong lockers. I agree, that I do realize. Aren't you going to do something about it? What do you want me to do? At that point, I notice that behind her, there are three people queued up. They're in line to ask me a question. They believe I work here. She didn't like that answer and is obviously about to go off when I blurt out, I don't work here. And then louder again for the people queuing behind her, I don't work here. To her credit, the lady looked embarrassed and was apologetic, and the line behind her dispersed. Sorry, lady. I feel your pain. I just can't fix this for you. I love hearing customers ask that, well, what are you going to do about it? As if you could just pull out your wand and abracadabra some more effing lockers or something. And our third story. I do work here, you absolute cretin. I, Lux, was helping my mother, mom, and my classmate's mother, classmate's mom, along with my classmate, classmate, who were running a stand at an annual fair selling food products. Later on, my classmate's dad, classmate's dad, pops up to help with packing up. For the first story, I was helping run the stand while mom went to the bathroom and classmate's mom went to buy lunch. I'm talking to a bunch of customers explaining the difference between two products when this lady, greedy hog, comes over and grabs the tasting tray, then helps herself to some of the cake on it. Excuse me, please don't eat all of it. We still need some for the customers. Greedy Hog looked at me and said, No, you don't. You won't need any customers because you don't have any. Who do you think you can trick just by standing behind the table, sweetie? I tell Greedy Hog that I'm a volunteer. She just snorts and is about to grab more when I yank the tray out of her hand, 
put it back on the table, then slam the lid on top as quickly as I can. Greedy Hog is shaking her fist at me, and the beginnings of an angry rant are trickling out of her mouth when Mom, who'd come back and witnessed the entire exchange, intervenes. Lady, I don't appreciate you being rude to Lux, and I also don't appreciate you creating potential health hazards. Either way, get away from my stall or actually buy a product if you like it. Eating like a pig is not one of the two options, and I trust your previous guzzling has been enough to help you make up your mind. Greedy Hog flushed bright red and mumbled out that she'd buy it. I had a gigantic crap-eating grin on my face when I asked her in the sweetest voice possible if she wanted to add her name to the list of correspondence for updates on when new products are available. She mumbled, no, paid, and then ran off as quickly as she could. The second incident happened when we were packing up. We had a few boxes of products left and classmate was dragging the table away, so I was left in charge of moving the merchandise back to classmate's dad's car. I grab two to three at a time and take off running because the stand's on one side of the school and the parking lot's on the other. I just wanted to get it over with as fast as I could. Ice cream is a good motivator. I'm on my second run when I'm abruptly stopped by someone, Crazy Lady 2.0, grabbing the back of my shirt. WTF. Young lady, where do you think you're going? Uh, back to classmate's dad's car? Now kindly let go. Ha! Do you really think you could get away with stealing? Come along now, let's see what they have to say about this. I wriggle out of Crazy Lady 2.0's grasp, run to the car, drop off the boxes, and run back to the stall. She's hot on my heels, yelling about how I'm a dirty thief and how dare I take advantage of vendors being away from their merchandise. What's going on here? Classmate's mom looks up from her clipboard where she's been cataloging what's been sold and calculating the profits. I explain what's going on just as Crazy Lady 2.0 catches up. This girl here has been stealing your stuff and ran off when I tried to make her return them. What the F I volunteered to help at this stall? Of course I'd be moving their boxes. The jig is up. Admit it. You're nothing but a dirty liar. And you, woman, have your head so far up in cuckoo cloud land that you haven't bothered making heads or tails of the situation. Before she can start, classmate's mom steps in. Look around you. The fair's over. We need to pack up and you're wasting our time. Lux was moving the boxes to another car because we need to take them back to the warehouse we store them at. Now kindly apologize and be on your way or I'll have someone escort you away. Crazy Lady 2.0 looked at me looked at classmate's mom, then back at me, and she loses her crap. She starts screaming about how we're in cahoots and that we're trying to pull the wool over her eyes. As calmly as she can, classmate's mom picks up the radio issued to every vendor and calls for security. They arrive and Crazy Lady 2.0 is promptly dragged away, still yelling about how we probably ripped everyone off. Security takes her aside and tells her that she's banned from the fair for assaulting and harassing a volunteer permanently. I could still hear her harpy shrieking from far away, but it made for good laughs later on during the night when we, Lux, Mom, Classmate's Mom, Classmate's Dad, and Classmate all went out for dinner. I'm volunteering at the balloon stand this year. Can't wait to see what happens. And a quick story for dessert. I froze up. Oops. So I stopped in a grocery store to browse and found out it was National Sibling Day. So I went looking for something for my two younger brothers as well. I ended up in the bakery section and found a 24 cupcake pack for 10 bucks. Practically a steal in my book. So I grabbed it to look at the colors and read the ingredients when I hear a shrill, finally! I turn around and some lady is staring at me with a scrunched up face, her mouth twisted in anger. It's about time you bring the cupcakes out. Walking around like you don't have anything to do, you should be doing your job. As she was speaking, she kept getting closer until she was right in front of me, the only barrier between her and I being the sheet of cupcakes in my hands. She reached out and started yanking on it. I've been waiting for these forever. She kept tugging, and in my shock, my automatic reaction was to pull them closer to me, and she was still hanging on. Uh, sorry, I don't work here. I just found these cupcakes on the shelf. They're, let go of them. Give me my cupcakes. She was causing a scene, and a few other customers looked over curiously. Go do your damn job. I didn't understand what the hell her problem was, but I still wasn't thinking enough to assess the situation. 
My brain was still in shock, and I still wasn't sure how to properly respond. I didn't try to talk again. I just kept pulling on them. Until finally she let go and let out an enraged shout, Where's your manager? Go get them! You should be fired! A man who was actually wearing a uniform came over and asked what the problem was. She won't give me my cupcakes. She's your employee. She's not doing her effing job. The manager looked down at me with what I'm sure was a look of bewilderment. Uh, ma'am, she doesn't work here. What? She snapped, looking towards the manager and snarled that I had helped her only ten minutes ago before I disappeared. A woman with dark brown hair pulled into a ponytail that looked a little like mine came up to us and handed the woman a small sheet of cupcakes. Here you go. Sorry about the wait. She then waltzed gracefully back down the aisle. The manager was staring at this woman like she was the Pandora's box of stupidity. Do you mean her? The woman started muttering as she turned dangerously red. Well, I, she pointed at me and said, you shouldn't look so much like other people. With that said, she quickly walked away, the sound of her clacking shoes and the sheet rustling swiftly moving down the aisle. Did you tell her you worked here? No. She had crushed some of the cupcakes in her struggle to pry them away from me. The manager offered them to me for free, and I bought another pack to go with it. The day came out pretty well. 48 cupcakes for 10 bucks. That's still the only time that's happened to me. Man, I was completely unprepared for that. Classic, I don't work here, lady. She blames you for her mistake? You shouldn't look so much like other people. How does one even respond to that? Hey guys, thank you all for watching the video to the end, and I'll see you in the next one.